to assume a president having time to author a book is uh, uh, considered in some quarters preposterous mm -hmm. because a president is seen to be very, very busy. So what really happened is that um, some people motivated the president to begin writing a story. Mm -hmm. And this story is supposed to be the story of his life. Now, most of us came to discover the president when the elections of 2016 uh, started. And then we saw a candidate who was never in the public figure. Um, but apparently there is a lot to learn about this president. There's a lot to know about, and I am now quoting him here, in his humble beginnings as Adam Abaro. There's so much to know about Adam Abaro, you know, to know where he came from, the modest backgrounds he, he, he has, his village life, you know, the trials he had to go through as a student, as a child, as a, as a, as a, you know, as an adolescent, as an adult, the struggles also that are very, very akin to every other child that has grown particularly from the village. And this is why the title, The Village Boy, Who Would Be President? Because you see, this is not, I uh, emphasize here, uh, meant to explain his political life. This is meant to give a taste of that similarity, that kind of similar environment, very common environment that every child encounters today in the Gambia. So his reason for writing the book is to encourage children to understand that they can have a life that might be difficult, that might be challenging, but a life that can also be very fulfilling. So it's a motivation, it's an encouragement. It's a way of saying people who have succeeded have always had humble beginnings. And when will the book itself be launched? Okay, now uh, the date has now been confirmed. It's going to be on the 21st of February, on a Wednesday, uh, 2024. That is just after the independence celebrations. The book launch has now been tied along with the celebrations. But then it is much more focused on helping children learn to read and discover their leaders. So this could be a beginning. I mean, Arawa Baroma have become the catalyst. But this is the beginning to encourage Gambians, uh, Gambian children in particular, to start discovering their, their, their own uh, heroes, as they will call it. And there are many other heroes we have here. Uh, on the day of the book launch itself, we are expecting to have the publishers, and I want to mention them. That is Anna Butner and his mo her mom, Lucy Fay. We expect to have them to give some a speech. The two ministers of education would be given statements. We expect to have the book review made by three very prominent people. Uh, Miss Aisha Jawara, uh, who people know to be a writer and a publisher too. Mr. Sola Mahoney and uh, Honorable Nana Gray Johnson as the main book reviewer. And then we are hoping to also have um, Mr. Yanko Badabo of uh, the Commissioner General of GRA, who has been very um, instrumental in seeing this book come to light, also to give a statement. And then, most certainly, as it is presided over by His Excellency the President, he would give the last statement. Where will it be held? It will be held at the State House grounds, um, as it is anticipated now. Uh, as we said, this is going to be only by invitation. Um, so it is a closed uh, book launch. Mm -hmm. But then beyond that, there is the idea of having this book now have a tour mm -hmm. across all the country, going to every school, mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that every child gets a, an opportunity to get a grasp of the book. And hopefully we will have uh, donors and uh, uh, well-wishers who will want to probably patronize the book and then have this book distributed all over the Gambia to Gambian children.